What is going on Babylonians? It's me Songs of Rays and I'm here with another Evil West video to bring to you. Now today we're going to be covering over all the hidden perks and the hidden collectibles when it comes to uh, weapon upgrades as well as all the perks that are going to be found in the game of Evil West. I've compiled it all into one video for you and I've chaptered it all to be able to make it a little bit easier to be able so you can find them all out in your game. Now some of these are really strong and some of these are definitely going to be build defining when it comes to it but some of them are a little bit more kind of niche when it comes to it so you kind of have to make your own decision about whether some of these are going to fit into your playstyle. But let's get cracking right into it and we do have 8 perks to be able to cover and we do have 2 weapon upgrades to be able to grab and let's get it started. Alright so the first and foremost, the first one that you do come across it can be found in level 5 which is called the Devil's Pass and this is for booming business. This is a perk that all exploding TNT crates deal damage in a 50% larger, larger radius and it also affects another perk which we will be covering very shortly called Boom Balls. Now while this one technically isn't hidden in of itself because you do have to pass it to be able to complete the rest of the mission, uh, it is still one of the hidden perks that is found in the, say, in the perk selection so we're going to include it on here anyway. So in the mission The Devil's Pass, after you do fight the humans that do transform into werewolves after a bit of a screech, you're able to drop down to this ledge and then carry on for the rest of the campaign and then there's pretty much a chest on your left hand side which you, you kind of pretty much always have to walk past. So if you don't see this one, if you don't open it up, uh, then that's pretty much on you, <laughs> you've not noticed that. Uh, but uh, yeah, this one is just to give you a taster that this is what, what you're looking for to be able to find those hidden perks and I'd highly recommend that you do pick it up to be able to grab booming business. Now for how, how useful this perk is, I, I really didn't really use this at all in my playthrough. Uh, I mean it can be used combined with another perk but I still didn't find it that useful anyway. Uh, so you know, feel free to test it out because it is one of the first ones that you do grab but uh, personally I think it's one of those to be able to give it a miss at the start. Now moving on to the next perk, we do have uh, the Lethal Heights perk which is enemies come in when the midair take 25% more damage and this can be found in level 6 which is the remote RI outpost. Now similar to like on the Ghost Gear, if you haven't already watched that video I highly recommend that you go, fight, go have a look at that, uh, but there is a fork in the road after you fight one of the leeches after they break open the tunnel, go into the tunnel and you want to stick to the left hand side and then you crawl into this small space and it will start, one of the, uh, will start a fight and another leech will eventually spawn uh, towards the end of it. After you've completed this fight it will open up the area for you to be able to go get the last of the chests and the chest will then give you the lethal heights perk. Now personally I don't really rate this one either because while it is nice to have that additional 25% more damage most of the time or at least the enemies that need to take 25% more damage like leeches or most of the elites cannot be hit into the air so therefore it just kind of falls a little bit flat in that sense. The ones that I need to take more damage I can't get if can't affect in that sense uh, so therefore I don't really ju justify this perk being in one of my, some of my loadouts. Now the next perk, which is the one that does combine with booming business, which is boom balls, is can be found on level 7, which is called smoke and mirrors. Now to be able to do this, you do have to go all the way into the forest, it's just before the boss fight, uh, but uh, basically as you're exploring around, if you follow the track that's better shown on the screen right now, it'll eventually lead you to some trees that can be taken down with your scorcher, and once you do get to do that, you're able to interact with the chest. Now the boom balls perk is kind of unique, what it means is any of your pickups, so whether they're energy or HP ones, can be shot by your rifle or expo to be able to explode for damage to enemies so basically you're able to uh, summon some almost like mini TNT uh, kind of crates that you can you can put out and round and about in the kind of like the environment and then when you shoot them it does damage now if you do combine that with the boom of business you can get a 50% larger radius whether that's useful to yourself or whether you prefer to have the drops is completely up to you uh, but me once again I do kind of like leave this one out I do think I don't really can get, like rate this compared to some of the other perks that you can use uh, can use points towards so therefore I just kind of like leave this one out as well. Now the next perk, which is called Adrenaline Junkie, can be found on level 8, which is called Pharmacon. And to be able to do this, all you need to be able to do is solve a kind of a long, long, well, lengthy kind of puzzle. Now, it, is, it doesn't initially look lengthy until you then have a look at the items that you need to be able to move around the environment. And you'll notice that if you look upwards when you're down in the, ba in the basin to be able to start moving them around, that they all have edges on them to be able to signify where you can walk across, because there's no jumping across when it comes to these ones. So, with these ones, you need to be able to line up a path to instead of going straight across you need to be able to go to, across to the left hand side of it and that is where the hidden chest will be. To do this it will take you a little bit of time and you will need to be able to rejig most of them around because they're not set up quite easily for this kind of thing uh, but once you do have it rejigged and I will fast forward the video a little bit here so you can see again idea as to how I've got, I kind of went about and did it uh, but once you do grab that you will be able to get the adrenaline junkie. Now what this means is whenever a HP pickup is about to drop instead an energy pickup is created. Now this can be used for some very specific kind of builds if you are looking to be able to do a lot of energy uh, kind of combo like intensive combo so you can use this for like 
like the supercharge mode and you can use this for some of your like ground stomp abilities or the, the lash that drops them straight back down on the floor. Some of your really powerful abilities do use energy and this could be a really interesting way to be able to do it. Now you, you kind of are very reliant on your healing factor or your healing ability to be able to keep yourself topped up but it is a very interesting way of being able to go about it and I can see a lot of people potentially going for this one. Now next one is on level 9 which is where oil tastes like blood. Now this one is going to be an upgrade for one of your weapons and this one's going to be specifically for the crossbow. Bursting bolts is an upgrade that allows you when you do use it to be able to have the expo shoot in rapid burst of two bolts instead of just firing in semi-auto. Now, whether this can be, is kind of useful or not is completely up to yourself. I tended to like stay away from the crossbow. I, I did prefer the rifle in the end, uh, just because I found that some of the abilities that that actually gave us was a little bit better. Uh, but if you do prefer the expo, then maybe this is one that's worthwhile to yourself, and one over and will eventually have the money to be able to use to upgrade the whole of my arsenal. To be able to get to this, once you've had like a mini boss fight and you do use the ladder, uh, the elevator to be able to get on top and everything starts burning, you'll then get dropped down into the burning oil field and if you're able to follow the path that's on the screen right now, it will take you to uh, a bush that can be uh, burnt away with the scorcher. If you're able to burn that away, they will then have the chest right behind it and you can then pick up the bursting bolt. So we're back onto perks now and what we're looking for is the healthy lifestyle perk. Now this can be found on level 10 when it comes to bats in the belfry and what this perk does is whenever an NG pickup is about to drop a HP pickup is instead created. It's basically the complete opposite of adrenaline junkie uh, so you can just go back and forth as to which one you prefer to have for having a bit more health or having a bit more energy. Uh, personally I think that the energy one's a little bit more useful uh, especially since you do have a healing ability but you don't have an ability to be able to give yourself more energy so therefore I think it's a bit it's probably a little bit Bit less useful compared to Adrenaline Junkie. So to be able to find this perk what you need to do is get yourself to the arena that is shown on the screen right now after progressing through the level and what it will do is it will ask you to be able to trip three switches and when you open the three switches it opens the door into the next area. Now to be able to find the chest where it's a lot easier to be able to do this when you've climbed up the tower to be able to shoot two of the switches uh, but you'll notice that there is one of those uh, chains that can be shot to be able to drop down and that means that you can then climb up that. Once you do climb up it follow the path all the way around and that will take you to the hidden chest and then that will release the healthy lifestyle perk for you. 
Next we move on to one of my favourite hit of the hidden perks which is going to be work life balance and to be able to find this one it's pretty much fairly simple it's really easy to be able to find this one. This one is at the start of level 11 which is a man of people and to be able to do that just follow the path around as you can see on the screen but basically there is a tower that's pretty much near where you start the level off and once you climb to the top of that it will eventually have that chest available for you. Once you do grab that it will give you the work life balance and what that does is 25% of each pickup goes to the other so it goes so HP pickups will Will give you 25% of that as what it would have filled up as energy and likewise any of 25% of the energy would have filled up your HP as well so this one I think is a really nice one that means that every single one of the pickups in this level can always heal you and always give you energy and be able to keep you topped up so I find that this works really really nice I could potentially see an argument for this one uh, being a nice way to be able to balance what adrenaline junkie does so that way you have like 75% going towards your energy and 25% going to your healing to be able to always keep yourself topped up but I do think this one's really really useful to be able to have and I highly recommend that you do go out and find this one. Next up is another perk called Life Support, and what this will do is your gauntlet will now give you constant HP regen, and this will mean that 90 seconds will be a full HP recharge, which is quite nice to be able to have. It's not the most efficient, so it's not the most effective kind of perk to be able to have, but it is nice to always have that HP regen, especially when you're in fights. Uh, so this one can be found on level 13, which is called Old Friends, and this one's a bit more of like a uh, like a puzzle kind of platformer one, and what this requires you to be able to do is with the toxic floor uh, to be able to uh, shoot down a couple of uh, floors that can be found as suspended from the ceiling but you need to be able to be in certain locations to be able to shoot them in the first place so as long as you follow the instructions that are on screen right now you'll be able to see which ones you need to shoot down and the path you need to be able to take once you take that path you will then go get you all the way to the chest and you're able to open it to be able to get yourself the life support perk and now we're on to the last of the perks and this is going to be called tool down and what this does is collecting a, any kind of pickup slightly reduces the cooldown for your crippling rod considering the crippling rod is one of the strongest items that you have in your inventory it's easy to see why this would be definitely a really good perk to be able to get picked up especially if you start spawning even more pickups with things like icarus and uh, when you kill enemies that are midair to be able to get those energy drops now to be able to find this one you need to be able to go on to level 14 which is a sun's duty and once you do get through to the certain area this will be after the, the maze that's kind of covered with a little bit of spider webbing uh, and after you come outside you'll instantly see that the chest is pretty much right in front of you uh, if you look up a little bit on top of the water tower. Now to be able to get this one you need to be able to shoot down a chain and then this long chain will take you all the way up. What I found was the best way to be able to do it is if you go to the right straight after you come out of there grab the gold uh, drop that's over there and that gives you a really nice line of sight to be able to shoot that down. Once you've shot it down just follow the path all the way around and then climb up that chain and then it will give you access to the chest and you can pick up the last of the eight perks. And the last of the hidden items is going to be an upgrade for your Gatling gun, and this one is going to be called Fire and Forget. Now this one can be found on level 15, the heist, so pretty much the level just before the end of the campaign, and this one's really sneaky. I, this one I completely missed the first time I did it, even though I was able to find most of the others, uh, but this one was <laughs> it was a pain, especially since you're normally looking out for those wooden posts that have a little bit of chain around them to let you know that you can interact to be able to go jump up, jump down, or jump across, etc, etc. So this one is hidden behind a couple of crates. Now to be able to do this, you you just need to be able to continue progressing through the level fighting a couple of arenas and then eventually you'll get to this one where you need to be able to shoot down the chain uh, to be able to then climb up to the roofs now when you do this right in front of you as you go up through the stairs you'll notice that there is a box that you, it's one of those interactable ones that you can shoot to be able to get a gold drop what you can also do on top of that is shoot the two under two barrels that are underneath it or you're able to use your gauntlet to be able to punch through those and then that will give you the ledge uh, to be able to interact to be able to drop down to another level once you do that, it will take you underneath a little bit of a roof, and then it will just have that chest right there in front of you. Now, the Fire and Forget perk, or the, uh, the upgrade for the Gatling, allows it to be able to fire for 25% longer. So it, did, it essentially just gives you an additional 25% of your charge that you do have available for that gun. Now, considering how quickly you do go through that charge with your Gatling, it's no wonder that this one would be a really good one to be able to use, especially if you do use the Gatling quite often, and even more so if you do use it with the electric, uh, the electric modification that you do have. So there you go, that is all of the 8 hidden perks as well as the 2 hidden upgrades that can be found throughout all of Evil West. Let me know in the comment section down below which ones have you already found, which ones have you missed and which ones are your current favourites. Me personally, I love how useful tool down is and I also love how good work life balance is. I, I put those straight into my build and then when it came to the upgrades I used fire and forget but the, the bursting bolts one I've just kind of like left by the, by the wayside. 
Massive thank you for making your way to the end of the video. Massive thank you to the Babylonian family, as always, for their continued support. Their names appear at the end of every single one of our videos. And just to get, as a brief reminder, we do have our socials found in the, in the video description down below. So we'd love to be able to see you over on Twitter, be able to catch us over on Facebook. And we do also have a Discord where we'd love to be able to speak with you, where we try to interact with the community daily. And there we go. That just leaves me to say, keep yourself safe, keep yourselves well. And I'll see you all on the next video.